Hey guys, Ivan here and in this video we're gonna cover a couple of very interesting topics and we are starting with this one, Nick Walker, where a couple of physique updates, it's mostly him training but you can kind of see the conditioning that he's in right now. About 13 weeks out of Mr. Olympia and in this photo and a couple of other photos and videos that I'm about to show you, he does look a little bit harder than in his previous physique update. So when he posted this one, I made a video about it. And basically what I said was that he looks pretty soft for this point in prep. And I noticed a lot of comments were about disagreeing with this statement. A lot of comments were saying that he looks just fine, that he looks good for 14 weeks out. But in my video, I compared him to guys like Big Ramy, who do look much harder 14 weeks out. And I forgot to do something that I'm about to do right now. I forgot to compare him to his own previous self. You guys remember when he posted these photos, there are a couple of others, and here he actually looked hard. Of course, he wasn't uh, show ready, he wasn't that conditioned, but he had that hardness, that fullness, that roundness that somehow he's lacking right now. Take a look at this photo and now compare it to this one, right? I mean, there is a big difference in hardness. And another thing is, Nick never posted most of his photos. He posted only two photos, but not all of them because he didn't like them. If he liked them, he would have reposted them because they are high quality photos. However, he also probably saw that he doesn't look very good right now. I know you guys are big fans of Nick Walker, but you cannot deny this. Look at this. Look at the difference. I mean, I think it's pretty clear. If you guys weren't able to see it just based on solely those photos, maybe you can see it better now when you compare him to his previous version where he wasn't 14 weeks out of Mr. Olympia. He was nowhere near Mr. Olympia. He was mid-off season, but he was probably blasting at this time. And I don't know what the hell he was doing, but he looked far better. If he looked like this right now, I would be far more confident that he's going to bring his absolute best. But the way he's looking currently, I don't know what's gonna happen in the end. Again, is this conditioning bad for 14 weeks out? It's absolutely not. It's a great condition. He doesn't have a lot of fat. Like, he's pretty, pretty lean, but he doesn't have that fullness and hardness. Again, I don't know what is his approach. Maybe they are taking it very easy in the beginning and they are saving all the hardening agents, all the fat burners, everything for the very end of the prep where they're gonna push everything super high and then he's going to just peak for Mr. Olympia. So if that is the approach, then fine, that sounds good. But if he's actually trying very hard right now and he looks like this, something is off maybe his gear is fake maybe something else but something is not good right now could it be that he just lost his passion and he doesn't have the fire inside of him so he's not training super hard it's definitely not that it's definitely not that based on his training videos here you can see him doing a leg press this is like most recent update of him and you can see that he looks lean he looks very lean and he is training super hard and I hope next time we see a proper physique update, he's going to look better, but I'm not so confident. I don't know. I'm not sure what is happening. I hope it is the approach that I just mentioned before, but if it is not, maybe things are not clicking with his new coach. Maybe he was much better off with Matt Jensen, who is arguably the best coach in the world right now. And I don't think his gear is really fake. I don't think anybody would give fake gear to Nick Walker, one of the best bodybuilders in the world. So it could be something about the approach. Now, are things going to click in the end? I hope so, but I can't be so sure. What I'm seeing right now, I'm not really super amazed. He still is one of the best, one of the biggest, one of the freakiest, one of the most impressive bodybuilders in the world. But based on what I saw from him last year in prep, I feel like what we're seeing today looks much different and once again I really hope it's just the approach thing but from what I'm seeing it doesn't look as good as it looked last year when he was working with Matt Jensen. If you guys disagree with me it's okay just tell me down below in the comment section if you however agree tell me about that as well. If you guys have any trouble putting weight on or eating and you're trying to find a replacement but you're thinking whey protein is probably not ideal, well there is this vintage brawn. This is actually not just whey protein, it's actually beef powder, egg white and 
whey isolate. So it's a combination of three sources of protein and it tastes absolutely delicious. There are so many different flavors. If you guys want to try it out, there is a link down below. And if you use my code, even you get a 15% discount. And also it helps me a lot. It helps this channel a lot. So if you guys want to support my channel to that level, you can do that. Thank you guys. All right, now let's take a look at somebody who Nick Walker actually beat last year and took that top five spot away from. So William Bonac was always like in top five, even top three at a Mr. Olympia. However, last year he was out of that top five. He was just sixth and Nick was fifth. So William Bonac had to qualify for the Mr. Olympia this year because of Nick Walker. And he did that quite successfully. He looked amazing at that Boston Pro where he won his Mr. Olympia qualification. Now, at this point, he looks absolutely amazing. This photo was posted by his coach, Chad Nichols, also the coach of Big Ramy, of course, also the coach of uh, Ronnie Coleman back in the day. And he says, I wanted to give everyone a quick update on the conqueror, William Bonac. We are at the end of the off-season phase. So he's still in the off-season. He still hasn't started prepping. And he looks like this. He looks very, very lean, very full, very much hard. And his waist looks pretty decent. Also, he got rid of Gaino, which is the sole reason why he lost that Arnold Classic earlier this year to Brandon Curry, which I don't think should have happened, but I guess Gaino was a reason enough. Anyway, he says, everything is right on target. Our goal was 120 kilos, and in this photo, he's 120.3, which is 264.6 pounds. Guys, for a short guy like that, he's 264, very, very lean. That's, that's big. I don't know if Bonac was ever this big in the offseason, 13 weeks or 12 weeks out of Mr. Olympia. Uh, Chad also says, this will, without a doubt, be the best William Bonac we've ever seen. And he says, I know everyone always says that, but get ready for something crazy in Vegas. And yes, a lot of people say that, but when Chad Nichols says it, it usually means something. He said that about Ronnie Coleman in 2003, and he was absolutely right about that. And I think he's going to be right this year about both Big Remy and William Bonac. And William Bonac, I potentially have him in my top two or top three this year. That's right. People kind of signed Bonac off after that Mr. Olympia where he lost to Nick Walker, deservedly so, Nick Walker was definitely better, he deserved that victory, but Bonac was not on, not even close, and he actually spoke about this a couple of months after that Mr. Olympia, he didn't want to complain before the show or right after, only a couple of months later he spoke how he wasn't able to train for like 20 days before the Mr. Olympia, he had a lot of trouble and that's why he looked like this, and even like that, he placed in top 6. And you could say it was pretty close between these two guys, but Bonac was way, way off. And this is not the version of Bonac that you should think about when you're trying to predict his Mr. Olympia placement. No, you should think about his Arnold Classic version, where he brought probably the best version of himself ever, which means William Bonac is not done, not just yet. It was only misfortune that he didn't do that Mr. Olympia last year properly, he had some troubles, and now when everything clicks, when everything is fine, he brings something really good. Here you can also see the gyno, it was pretty obvious, so I, I understand why they marked him down, but physique-wise, he was better than Brandon Curry, man. And Brandon Curry is a Mr. Olympia, he has been pushing Big Ramy for a couple of years, so if he can actually beat Brandon Curry, that means he is much better bodybuilder than Nick Walker was last year. So if you're talking about top 5 Mr. Olympia prediction, I most certainly have William Bonac in that top 5, arguably, possibly, even top 2, top 3, maybe even winning the Mr. Olympia. That's right, that's, that's what I see. And just, as I said, think about this version, just better and bigger and fuller. Why? Well, because Chad Nichols said so, and also because it really seems like William Bonac clicked so well with Chad Nichols, and he's super motivated to improve even more and to bring something really special, just like Chad promised, to the Mr. Olympia stage, which I believe will come true, and at that point, anything is possible, really. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. All right, next, I wanted to talk a little bit about Wesley Wissers. Now, there wasn't a lot of talk about this guy lately. Maybe some of you guys forgot about him. 
But at some point, people thought that this guy was going to be the classic physique Mr. Olympia champion because in all of his gym photos, he looks basically like Arnold or even better than that. On stage, however, it's not really that good. It's, it's not great. But in his gym shots, he looks amazing. And in 10 days, he is going to have his Mr. Olympia qualification show. Now, the question is whether he's going to win it or not. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? This is what he looks like right now. His conditioning is, I guess, okay. It's not crazy good. His conditioning was never crazy good, but he gets okay conditioned. And his shape, again, in all of his gym photos, he looks amazing, but on stage, it's a little bit of a different story. He has some structural flaws that he cannot hide. No way. Now, the question is also... How much did he improve? Because if he wants to win a Mr. Olympia qualifier and actually place well at the Mr. Olympia, he needs to improve something. He needs to bring something better. And what I'm seeing here looks pretty much the same as, as usual. He doesn't look much improved. He looks good. Don't get me wrong. He looks amazing. But no, I don't see any crazy changes. No. Now, if you look at this photo, you'll probably think, wow, what a classic physique, what an amazing physique, he looks like Arnold, he looks so good, uh, he looks like a golden era bodybuilder, something that you would probably imagine classic physique would be all about when they started it, however, classic physique is not really what you guys, some of you guys probably thought it's gonna be, it has a different criteria nowadays, and you can see it on the stage that he is not really that good compared to what he looks like on Instagram, that's what I mean, and compared to the very top of the classic physique. Wesley Wisters, I think his best result was like top 10 at the Mr. Olympia, which is a huge achievement for sure, but like to beat Chris Bumstead to be in that top 6, that's probably not in the books. I don't think he has that potential. So if you take a look at these photos, you can actually see his weaknesses, his structural flaws. He can't hide them on stage. I'm going to point them out to you guys. So for example, in the front double, let's start with that one. His waist is a little bit wide. He's making it smaller by doing a really good vacuum, by making his lads big, by uh, having huge arms. But you can still see that his waist is not Chris Bumstead kind of waist. Then if you go down, you can see that his legs don't really have some crazy separation, they are not very dry, you can't see any vascularity, any feathers, he's never really super conditioned in legs, and also, they could be bigger, they could be sweepier, rounder, that's a big flaw. In the side chest, you can see that his chest kind of looks a little bit flattish. And I think it would look much better if he did it the other way, but he's doing it, you know, the Arnold style, like Arnold Schwarzenegger used to do it, and this requires having a really, really massive chest, like Arnold, which he doesn't have. And then from the back, you can also see that, uh, that gap in the legs. So there is definitely more muscle to be added in those legs. They could be bigger. He looks like Arnold because of that. He has the same flaws like Arnold used to. For example, big waist, smaller legs. And this is awesome. This is a great physique. It looks very unique. It looks like, not really unique, but it looks like Arnold. But, you know, in classic physique today, they require something else. And based on what I'm seeing right here, he doesn't seem to have it, not yet, and probably never will. Uh, will he win that show and qualify for the Mr. Olympia? I think he can qualify for the Mr. Olympia. There are 50 guys doing the Mr. Olympia, and he was already top 10, so sure, he can do that. But we want to see him fulfill his maximum potential, be like top 5 at the Mr. Olympia. Will we ever see that? I say no. If you guys think otherwise, tell me down below. What serious improvements look like? Here is a perfect example. Samson Dauda. Take a look at this freaking guy. And now that he's not even in the offseason anymore when he started cutting, he starts to look even more freaky. Now, he probably lost some weight, but he just got leaner. And the leaner he gets, the freakier, the more impressive he's gonna look. Now, this, this video was taken, you know, in the mirror, and this mirror makes him look even thicker, even bigger than he is, you know, wider, so he's not really this big, it's a little bit of an illusion, but he still is really, really massive, and I don't know, if this guy can actually, you know, bring conditioning, bring better conditioning, and bring some, at least some separation in his glutes, and with all the improvements, with all the size that he gained, with his back being improved, yeah, he improved his back, he can be, he can do a lot, a lot. I can see him cracking the top six. I can see him probably in sixth at the Mr. Olympia. 
No, I don't really see him like top two, top three, like I can see William Bonnack, for example. I still see this guy has some flaws, like his back is still not that good. It can still be bigger, he can still improve it more, but with everything else, with all the mass that he has, and let's say he brings the conditioning, let's say he's really peeled, and let's say his glutes are separated, I do see this guy being top six at the Mr. Olympia. Now, he does look very, very impressive right now, and whatever you guys think about him and his potential this year at the Mr. Olympia, you can tell me down below in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up, and for more videos like this, guys, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, all the best, guys, and bye-bye.